Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So please excuse the weird lighting. I'm aware my background looks kind of yellowish and that's purely because the lighting is just not working for me today. But I thought I would go ahead because I've been sat here for like two hours waiting to film this video and i got things to do, so we're just going to have to deal with it. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of W7 makeup, or almost full face. As you can see, I have got some pretty intense brows going on, and that's purely because I could not find the brow palette that I have from W7. I have used it before, and I know it's not amazing. It's quite warm-toned, um, but I will leave a link to that down below. Like I said, it's not amazing, but I thought I would just give that like an honourable mention, just purely because it's not going to feature in this video, because I cannot for the life of me find it, so please excuse that. But everything else that I will be chucking on my face is 100% W7, so let's get into it. So first of all I'm going to be using the W7 Porefection Primer. This is a pore minimizer and I think generally W7 are pretty much like known for being a dupe brand. They kind of dupe a bunch of different things. I'll show you guys in a second but I feel like this is maybe a dupe for the NYX primer. It looks very very similar but if not like in terms of formulation this looks a lot like the Benefit Porefessional. So I'd imagine it's kind of like a dupe for either one of them. I'm just going to pop that on my nose, just to kind of get rid of pores. It feels quite silicony. I'm going to quickly check my hair up, I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Much better. Okay, so you don't need a lot of that, which is good, and it feels pretty similar to the Benefit one, to be honest. Obviously, I don't know how it's going to last on my skin or whatever, but in terms of like first impressions, it feels pretty good. Next, I'm going to go in with something that I've tried very, very briefly for a Fragrance Direct tutorial. If you guys don't know, I do do Fragrance Direct YouTube videos normally like once a week, generally, so I will leave a link to them down below if you do want to see more of me. Um, but this is the W7 Singing in the Rain Waterproof Foundation. I will be doing a waterproof makeup tutorial very, very soon, probably featuring this foundation. Um, let's go full coverage today. So from what I can remember, this was actually a really nice foundation. This is a little bit too pale for me because I have recently faked hand. But um, I've got something that'll fix that in a second. So next I'm going in with the Catwalk Concealer. I don't know what shade I have this in. I think it's like, oh, this is in the shade Light. And I'm going to pop that under my eyes. Okay, so this is quite dark. So it's not going to be very great for highlighting. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's quite orange on my skin right now. And then I'm just going to blend that out with the same brush again. Okay, so that's my base done. The concealer is quite nice coverage, but it is just a little bit warm toned. So if you are like my skin colour, um, I don't know if they do do a fair one, but I'd maybe recommend going for a, a lighter shade than you'd normally go for. So now I'm going to warm everything up a little bit using the Makeup and Glow Bronzing Base. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Chanel bronzing thing, so it looks a little something like this. I'm just going to pop the same foundation brush in, and I guess just... Oh, that's not as intense as I thought it was going to be, which is quite nice. I'm just going to pop it kind of like around the outside of my face. Not going to contour with it as such, but kind of just roughly put it all over there. So I've never tried the Chanel one, but I've heard a lot of good things. And this seems pretty good, to be fair. Really, really good if you do have like lighter foundations and you kind of want to warm them up. Because it's not intense like you'd have like a cream contour. Next is the thing that I am most excited about, it's the Shape Your Face Contour Kit. We all know I love a good contour kit, and again, I think this is like £3 or something ridiculous. So it comes with a little brush as well, and I'm going to go in with this, like, cool tone contour shade, and just see how this goes. Nice! Don't worry, I'm going to be blending this out a little bit more in a second, I'm aware. It looks pretty intense. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the warm tone bronzer, I'm going to be popping that over the top and blending everything out a little bit more. I'm just going to quickly go in with the cool tone again and do my nose contouring thing. I'm just looking a little bit closer at myself and I can see that that concealer has oxidised almost instantly and I have to go out like this, so how can I fix this? I'm going to go over the top with the foundation because that was a little bit lighter gonna pop a tiny bit on my fingers and just see if I can okay the pump does not allow you to use a tiny bit but pop that over there and see if we can brighten it up a little bit next I'm gonna go in with the banana shade from the palette and I'm just gonna be using the luxe powder fusion brush from Zoeva pop that under my eyeballs and probably over my eyes as well so this isn't mattifying me as such but it is kind of getting rid of a little bit of the shine. 
So the sun has now come out, so sorry if the lighting looks completely different now, but I'm going to roll with it. The next thing we're going to go in with is the Cheeky Trio palette. This is a bronzer, blusher and highlighter. I believe everything is matte. They don't seem overly pigmented. The highlighter, a bit crappy, but we're going to go in with the blush and try this bad boy. Really not very pigmented, but... Okay, nice colour. So next I'm going to go in with one of my favourite W7 products. This is the Hollywood Bronze and Glow Palette. It's going to be very, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. Looks a little something like this. I'm just going to go in with the highlighter. And from what I can remember, this is a pretty nice highlighter. I think you need quite a lot of it, but I think it's quite nice. The light's gone again. And we're back. Okay, so just popping that on my cheekbones using a fan brush. Don't know if you guys can see that, you can definitely see that. Yeah, really, really nice highlighter, nice and champagne-y coloured. I'm just gonna go ham with that all over my face. Light's gone again, so please just don't hate me for this. Next I'm going in with the Naughty Nine palette, I think it's called, and it's in the shade Arabian Nights. I think this is meant to be like a little dupe for the, um, let's get rid of the paper, the dupe for like a MAC palette, maybe. It's got a mixture of matte and shimmer shades. So probably going to do a very boring Steph kind of eye with like matte shades and that sort of thing. Um, I don't know where I put my brushes. Give me a minute. Got a rush. Okay, so first of all I'm going to go in with this little warmish tone pinky shade I guess and pop that on the crease. I wish this had a mirror. I'm gonna have to kind of eyeball it from far. Pop that in my crease just to blend everything out a bit more easily later. Then I'm gonna go in with this chocolatey brown shade and go with the crease. Oh that's nice. I like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna use the same brush because I'm lazy and I just spent like two hours cleaning my makeup brushes the other day so I'm going to use the same brush, so I'm going to go in ever so slightly with this darker shade. This might be a disaster. Pop that on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take a clean brush and just blend all of that out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go under with the chocolate shade again, just under my eyes. Okay, so now I have two liners. I've got the automatic eyeliner, which is a felt tippy sort of thing and then I've also got the automatic eyeliner pencil which is just something I may tight line with. Okay so this is not a very black eyeliner. It's almost like floppy, like it's stiff. Don't, just don't. It's stiff. Come on we're adults here. This is a stiff nib but the end is floppy. So next I'm just going to very quickly tight line using the automatic eyeliner pencil. This is very thick. I feel like I'm going to gouge my eyes out with this. Let's pop that up on the waterline. Next I'm going in with mascara. This is the Absolute Lashes and does this look familiar to you? Maybe Benefit They're Real? Um, let's see what the brush is like. Oh, pretty similar to the They're Real brush, just doesn't have that bobbly bit on the end. Not amazing, but it's a lot better than some other mascaras I've used that cost like three quid. A lot better to be fair. I actually really like this eye look. I quite like that it's not like a really dark eyeliner. Not too bad. Feeling good about this. So last but not least, I'm just going to go in with a lip liner. This is the Lip Twister in the shade Very Nude. I've started enjoying wearing just lip liner again now. Overline my lips as always. It's a little bit crumbly, like I keep having to wipe away little extra bits. Okay, it's warmed up a little bit now, so it's a bit more pigmented. So this is the finished look. Super, super impressed with how it turned out. I've got to say, halfway through, I was kind of a bit nervous about how it's going to look, but yeah, I really, really like this. It just looks like my sort of everyday makeup look, which is exactly what I was going for. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you do want to see more of me. I post every Thursdays and Sundays. Let me know what you think of this makeup look and if you're going to be trying out any of the products that I use today. And if you have tried W7, let me know what your favourite products are. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!